Good day, everybody. Uh, thank you for coming. Uh, today's a very nice day. Uh, it's half cloudy, half sunny. It sun comes and goes. It just came out. And uh, yeah, it's it's today's Wednesday. I don't know when the video is gonna come out because I just uploaded like ten different videos. And that's going to pull this, uh, push this video farther to the future. But I think it's okay because in that way I, uh, I can have a chance to, uh, if something happened, or, uh, uh, to go back online. So I will pull this video daily. Now, let's go back to the, to the subject. So let me just take a note. I took a note uh, in the morning when I woke up. But the dream that I had last night was really interesting. Well, I think so. You maybe think different. Everybody's free to think whatever you want. Okay, I had uh, two different dreams. Um, one's about a lake, and the other one is about a, a murder. So uh, the modern ones, I just remember uh, small pieces. So let me try to remember what is it. It started at a house. We were at the house. <clears throat> Sorry, we were at the house. That was funny. And uh, I don't remember. We were like, uh, there were like one, two, three females, myself. Uh, a guy and an old lady and this guy killed uh, the old lady and then ran away so we called the police and they told us you need to bring the the evidence with you so the evidence was well we were scary and everything uh, you know the natural reaction when something like that happened and then, as I say, we call the police, and they say you need to bring the evidence, and blah, blah, blah. So, uh, the evidence was in an apple, almost completely it, but the murder had touched it. And the other evidence was a package of cigarettes, who also the murder had touched. So, we put those in a Ziploc bag. And we got into the car to the, uh, this is strange, instead of going to the police station, we were going to the insurance company. Don't ask me why, but, salute, that's what we were doing. So. We got on the car, it was a white car, uh, like it uh, was a, a, a semi compact. Uh, it's, it's a, I, I kind of remember what's a sporty kind of Volkswagen model. It's not, it's not the, the Volkswagen Beetle, it's a, a, a regular car, uh, a, a kind of sporty a hatchback. A, I remember the, the sports uh, rings. So we went into the car and then went to the traffic. And there's there's a corner that I uh, I dream constantly. It, it, this is a, a corner with with a, it's like a triangle, well an intersection of two streets, and in the middle there was this triangle with a building, pretty much like Times Square something like Times Square, but in this street, both both streets go and converge. I don't know if Times Square converge or diverge, but this one converge. Okay, okay, okay. My dog just got his knees stuck on my pants. Here she is. Saluda, Kira. So, uh, we arrive, no. 
we were driving, we, we passed through this uh, spot and then the street was pretty long. It was a long street and it ends up, it, it, it en ends up in the, this uh, like, a, mm, it's a fence with a security guard on the, on the, on the, it's a, it's this, the huge streets ends, there's a fence. And then at the, at the one corner there was this uh, way to go, go through and a security guard. Um, so we stopped where, with, there with the security guard, we, called, we told him what we were there for. And he let us pass. And then uh, we looked for a park, uh, parking lot. The parking lot was uh, immediately after the, the entrance and we looked for a parking spot. Uh, we parked and uh, we were uh, uh, getting out of the car, but and now the car instead of white was red and it was a convertible. Uh, one of the things that I uh, notice about myself is that I um, mix uh, red and white. I don't know why, I, I always see it like it is the same color and the same thing happened with me. With It's not that I see them the same, I know they're different colors, I can say this is red, this is white, but for me, uh, for some reason I think it's the same color. And uh, the same thing happens with uh, blue and, 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 and green, I know they're different, uh, I, I paint, I know how to make green with blue and yellow, I know they're different colors, but for me it's uh, kind of the same. Um, Maybe what I meant with this is that red and white uh, express the same feeling and uh, used for uh, almost the same things. Uh, obviously red is more used for remark stuff. And uh, blue and green are the same situation. They give me the same feeling and they are used almost for the same thing. So that's what I, what I mean with this. Now going back to the dream, so we uh, step out of the car, the red convertible, and um, this lady from the insurance company was uh, approaching already to us and asking for the evidence, so we give that to her, and that's the end of the dream. Very simple, very short. I don't know how it started, I just remember that part. Now the other dream uh, was very, very, very strange, uh, very long. Uh, I remember we started in a school, we were in, the, in a classroom, and uh, uh, this classroom had like, uh, um, it was a four wall uh, classroom, there was a, a hallway on one side, a huge uh, area like a hall in the in the after the door I mean so all the classrooms uh, face to this huge area which like a meeting area uh, a gymnasium or something big uh, uh, under ceiling one of the uh, the wall that uh, faces the the um, the hall the hall uh, was uh, with a window, a huge window, and then the door. And there's a wall here, a wall at the, at the bottom, a wall here, and back here, uh, a uh, like a hallway here on the one side. So um, the teacher was a male. Uh, the students, I remember, was kind of mixed, but I remember the male students. So uh, I'm not really sure, I just remember there were a lot of male students there. And the teacher just asked us to go outside. So we step outside and we form. We make like uh, an army formation, like three lines and uh, of seven or something like that. We were like around 20 or 30 persons. And uh, so we were on roads and the teacher was saying we are going to make a trip and then somehow we got into a bus. I remember we walked to the bus 
and we entered the bus. It was uh, like a school bus. I don't remember the outside of it. I just remember what's an, an old uh, bus. So we were all inside. I was sitting next to the to the uh, hall. I have no the name of this. I should know that because in the airplanes they say window or uh, lit lit or something like that. I don't know how, how it says. So I was not in the window. I was in the other on the other seat and pretty much close to the back of the of the bus, pretty, uh, like in the fourth or third row uh, before the end of the bus. So this bus had two doors, one on the front and one on the back. So I was almost uh, watching the, almost in front of the of the back door. And uh, so we were traveling and and in this like rural area so we went outside the city and we passed through all these little towns uh, so after a while uh, we arrived to a, a lake and uh, but not before uh, passing through a lot of uh, different roads and deviations and stuff so we got there, we didn't stop, we just were uh, watching through the windows, the, the lake on one side and small houses on the other side. And I had a feeling that the bus driver was lost and we were all lost. So uh, we stopped to eat in this place and uh, I think the first place that we stopped there was uh, people and so we, we stopped and we eat, we had lunch there and then we go back to the bus and keep driving and we end up in at an intersection of the road, uh, one side was the lake, the other side was uh, going somewhere else. Uh, we went down and at that time we realized we were lost and uh, the bus driver, driver, driver was asking if someone can check on the maps, on the cell phone maps, where were we, or send messages and tell them that we were lost. And we were, we stepped down of the bus, and we were in this place. There was this small, uh, I don't know if this exists uh, anywhere in the else, but it's, it's, uh, in Germany they're called kiosks, and we, here we have them like uh, little sh stores. Uh, made of wood uh, in the middle of the, any place and uh, they sell basically cigarettes, bubble gums, magazines uh, and snacks. So this place was, was open, the, they, they closed like bringing down the, uh, uh, the door like on, on the turns to the ceiling, like a garage or something like that. So it was open, uh, the merchandise was exposed and everything but there was nobody there. Uh, so one of the guys took one package of cigarettes and he offered me one, I took it, I, I don't smoke, I used to smoke, so maybe I was remember a past memory or something. So he offered me a cigarette and uh, I had a lighter for some reason, uh, maybe I remember one video of uh, PewDiePie in which he took a lighter out of, of his pocket and said, oh he smokes. So I had a lighter and I turned around and uh, we were just, uh, people was trying to contact uh, their, uh, someone and, and uh, trying to uh, pull up the maps and figure out where we were. So at the end we realized where were we. We went back to the bus to drive back or to drive to our destination and we, were, we weren't driving back, we were driving somewhere. So we keep driving on one side of the lake, and uh, there were there were these houses, uh, huge houses, uh, on one side of the lake, and you could see the a lot of animals. I remember there were these crabs that looked like uh, bones, like striped bones all together, and the crab, uh, huge, huge crabs, beautiful, white, 
and uh, all over the place and all uh, out, everywhere was saying, oh, those, those uh, animals are in danger of extinction and uh, here there are a lot. Uh, those, there were those crabs and there were whales in the lake. I, don't ask me why. So we saw a whale uh, in the lake. We stopped the bus uh, near one of these houses and there was a house uh, facing the lake and the side of the, there was this road, it was the, the ground, road, the house, and the lake immediately after. So, that, uh, like, he built over the lake, uh, touching the road. I mean, like, uh, um, port, like, um, dock, like a dock or something. The house was kind of a dock. And, Uh, we we went we went down to see the whale, and so this there was this whale uh, down there, and uh, a lot of animals. I, I just remember there were tons and tons and tons of animals, just crowding everywhere, and I, and I said to myself, I never I don't remember any other place with this much animals just. Oh, going around, uh, you, you usually don't see that many. And uh, in the lake there was these things uh, like floating over it, pretty much like uh, when a lake is frozen, so you can walk on step and on spots and there were like water and this, uh, I don't know if it was ice or something else. Uh, I don't remember it was cold, so it could be ice but in my dream it was a warm place. So we were. I was walking over these uh, uh, things uh, over the water to see the whales closer, the whales closer, and the other animals. There were animals uh, like penguins. I don't remember if they were precisely penguins, but there was some kind of animal that come, comes out of the water and out and walk. So pretty much like a penguin. And uh, so there, there was this construction uh, on the on the lake, like a boat, but more there are this type of cons uh, um, boats that are they have flat uh, floating surface, some uh, poles, and then a ceiling. So very very simple. Like in Mexico, they call them chalupas or catamaran. Uh, I don't know the name in English, but it's a very, very simple type of uh, boat for tourism. So you have all the open view on, on, on the sides and you stay on the, on the boat and there's just the ceiling and no walls, just poles holding the, the ceiling. And, uh, and they're very close to the, to the surface of the water. So there were, uh, th there was this huge uh, structure, uh, there were like, uh, I remember two of them tied together. So I walk in, um, there was like a ramp, so I climbed the ramp, I walk into this place. And uh, we start moving uh, into the lake. Uh, there's somebody working with a stair out there. So. Um, so this this thing was uh, moving in, inside the lake. Uh, I could see at the distance a mountain and another of these uh, structures floating, uh, and in between the mountain and uh, and um, and our uh, ship. So. The mountain you can see it a very far distance, and you can see snow over it. Like the lake end up in this, uh, like an island, but it was the end of the. It was a lake, so at the other end it was this mountain, uh, and there was snow. So uh, we walk. We uh, the, so the, the navigate the boat navigated to the other boat. Uh, they dock together. And there were these spies or uh, evil guys there, so I was uh, I was supposed to stop them somehow. So uh, they give me this 
What I had? I don't remember what I had. No, I had nothing at this point. So they all have guns and stuff, and I was trying to stay hide and stuff. Until I found this girl that gave me a, a very tiny gun that throws little plastic pellet, pellets. Uh, actually, they were made of uh, paraffin. It was not pla plastic, it was paraffin. Uh, just kind of paraffin pellets, very soft. And uh, so she gave me this tiny gun. Uh, she said, it doesn't need anything, you just put the pellets and it shoots. And uh, so I, I pick up uh, a bunch of pellets, they came in this plastic, uh, like cart, and you just pull them out and you put it inside the gun. It was really funny, it was like a toy. So with this uh, tiny gun, I managed to shut uh, all of the uh, bad guys and they, the pellet just touched them and they just fell down. Uh, don't ask me why. And uh, so at the same time the boat was moving uh, towards the mountain. Then at the end, uh, we arrived to the, to the shore and there was a dock, so we docked there. My sister was there and uh, it turns out she was like a federal police or something and then I had a flashback on she coming out of the academy and all this stuff and having his plate and then we uh, get back to the uh, to the current timeline uh, so she arrested all these evil guys and uh, now I was on the sh uh, at the shore and close to the mountain so uh, I just remember I, I walked through the mountain, the objective of all this was getting to the mountain and climbing to the top and uh, that's all I remember, that, uh, that's it. I was very, very, uh, I, I'm, I'm trying to remember, oh, the visuals were great, the, the lake was beautiful, the roads were uh, I don't know how to describe this, um, uh, pretty much like uh, there were a lot of trees like uh, those you see, they're called Sabinos. If you go once to Texas and go near a river, uh, you see those trees there, they're huge and um, so we have those here in the north of Mexico as well. But those are the kind of trees that close near rivers that are, are very, very large and big, and those were the, uh, all around the lake. Of course, the shore that was a was a clean space, and the road, and then the trees, and some trees on the other side of the road between the road and the and the lake. Now. Um, Yeah, that's it. Now let me talk about what I did yesterday. To, yesterday I made, I made a response video. Uh, you probably will see them already uh, uploaded on my on my page. Uh, this video I will post it after that. And I hope that there's a lot of uh, well, what what happens in that video is that. Uh, uh, from the sexualized white page I took it um, and I was responding to all the things that this person was saying and uh, yeah I was giving a lot of myself there so there's a lot of my personality the, the things the way I think the things I like the things I don't like so it's, it's about myself all those videos are about myself but um, in a way that I'm responding to the personality of the things that this other person likes. So she mentioned something and then I respond like, oh, I also like that, I don't like that, uh, I think this, I don't think this. So I use her more in a, in a, a way of, of a guide uh, to uh, express myself because if I try to do that alone, I probably will not be able to do it as good as I did it or as but the way I did it, I don't know if it's good or bad. It's probably bad. But the way I did it uh, with her help. Um, I think that's it for today. Thank you and have a nice day.